stresses on inclined planes under axial loading. So this is a homogeneous uniform bar. Uniform means cross section is uniform. Cross section of the bar is uniform. Now an axial load P is applied to the bar. So by a vertical plane that is this plane, this is the vertical plane, the normal stress will be on the vertical plane, normal stress will be P by A and shear stress will be 0. So cross sectional area, vertical cross sectional area, vertical cross sectional area, area of the bar is A. A is the vertical cross sectional area. Now let us determine the stress value on a plane which is inclined by phi to the vertical plane. So this is the, now this is the inclined plane. So this is the inclined plane. Let me draw it. So this is the inclined plane. where this angle is phi. Now, if vertical area is A, then what will be this area, this inclined plane area? This inclined plane area, A prime will be A by cos phi. This is very easy to understand that A prime will be A by cos phi. Because if this length is say T, this inclined length will be T by cos phi. And this width is same. Now, on this, the forces are, this is P. Now, let me erase this here from. Now, this force P has two components. One is normal to the plane. One is tangential to the plane. This is P. Now, and this angle is phi. Now, what is normal stress on the inclined plane? The normal stress on inclined plane, sigma n, is what? This component, this component, that is P by cos phi, divided by A prime, that is, P by cos phi sorry I am extremely sorry here P has two components and let me write down it here this is P cos phi not P by cos phi and this is P sin phi so normal to the plane component of P is P cos phi and tangential to the plane the component of P is P sin phi. Now let me, let me calculate what is normal stress on the inclined plane. That is normal force on inclined plane is P cos phi by the area of the inclined plane that is A by cos phi. So that is P by A cos square. Now what is shear stress on the inclined plane? That is shear stress, that is the force which is tangential to the inclined plane, that is P sin phi divided by area of the inclined plane A by cos phi. That is P by A sin phi cos phi. Or we can modify it P by 2A sin 2 phi. 
that is tau is p by 2a sin phi. So this is the expression of shear stress and this is the expression of normal stress on any inclined plane which is inclined by phi from the vertical plane. Now the stresses on two mutually perpendicular planes are called complementary stresses. Stresses on two mutually perpendicular planes are called complementary stresses. Now, how to calculate the value of stresses which is perpendicular to this inclined plane. As this orientation of this plane is phi, so perpendicular to the plane which is perpendicular to this inclined plane, that will be, that orientation will be phi plus 90 degree as this is 90 degree. So if we, these are the general generalized equation so here if we replace the phi by phi plus 90 degree then we will get the value of complementary stresses so the generalized equation is what sigma n is p by a cos square phi p by a cos square phi and p by 2a sin 2 phi. Now what is the complementary stresses? We can get the expression of complementary stresses of these two stresses by replacing phi by phi by phi plus 90 degree. So complementary normal stress is p by a cos square phi plus 90 degree that is p by a sin square phi. So what is relationship between sigma n and sigma n prime that is sigma n plus sigma n prime is p by a. So this is one relationship. This is one relationship. Now what will be complementary shear stress? p by 2a sin 2 phi plus 180 degree that is tau prime is p by 2a sin 2 phi minus that is minus tau that is tau prime is minus tau that is complementary shear stress is equal but opposite in direction that is complementary shear stresses we can write complementary shear stress are equal and opposite. Equal in op magnitude but opposite in direction that is why minus sign comes. And this is the relationship between uh, complementary shear stresses, complementary normal shear stresses. This is for complementary shear stresses and complementary shear stresses are equal and opposite. And for normal stresses, their summation is P by A.